A lot of Allah, a lot of Mohammed, so yeah, it's religion related. The policeman, the policeman is now stalking him, look at that. Not only him, <laughs> he's gonna have a company for the rest of the day, I guess. He's gonna be escorted far, far away. Oh, not, not so far away. The police may just stop there, watching him leave, so... I guess he's okay as long as he's, he's out of here. So yes guys, please translate what he was saying since I don't speak Arabic, I don't know what he was saying. Thank you. really cross here so I've got an excuse to walk by to see I need a bicycle from behind me cherry blossom here so we've got an excuse <laughs> to walk this way and do a little stalking here in the morning to, to do this with your day. <laughs> if I could, I would stay in bed all day. True story. Go back there. 
He's like, what, 30 years old or something like that? I don't see any gray hair, nothing. Probably 30, 35 maybe. What's that plastic bag? Like, don't prisoners have stuff like that, guys? I don't know much. I just heard one time that when they are released, they have a plastic bag with their belongings. So I'm just saying, guys, maybe you can recognize that stuff. I have no clue. I've never been to prison. <laughs> oh my god, he is. <laughs> Look at that. The urge is real. <laughs> What's going on in him? This point, I don't know. What he's trying to do? Why he's so determined to go back there? My goodness, he's gonna be escorted far, far away. Look, he's keep on turning back. So I just cut this video and I spoke to that policeman there to ask him what's going on and he said the guy has been causing problems uh, the whole morning. Uh, they had to turn him back three times and yeah, he thinks it's mental health problems. So, okay. 
and I asked him if they often have stuff like that, situations like this, and he said all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh.